Miss Hugo is asking. Carol, are you the one? We'll see. E2 needs the one. That's with E4. Nice. And Magnus adjusting all the pieces. He's played Carl Khan. And he's played the Sicilian. Uh, Special Khan. He played a couple of Sicilian games already. Right? right? But yes. a lapid. No oh. Sveshnikov for you. No Russell Emos. A lapid. C2, C3. Um, and notice how his knights are always facing each other. Right. Uh, Meanwhile, Magnus. Kirill's knights are straight. <laughs> yes. I've always liked the, the, the forward looking knights, and Bobby and Gary both like the knights facing. C2, C3, uh, D7, D5, as well as Knight F6 are the main uh, moves. D7, D5, I remember Gary Kasparov versus Dean Jr. The first match, a uh, very exciting match that Gary won. People forget the match that Gary won. They always remember the match that Gary lost to Deep Blue. Uh, but the first match took place in Philadelphia. Uh, Luis actually and I were calling that action stuff. As knight c4, what's the st statistics of this uh, position tell us, uh, Bar? A lot of games in the database, yes, there are over 100 games played, and right. now knight c6 is the uh, natural move, and now bishop e3 can be played. Yep. And in the, in the, against that move, very interesting move is knight d5. They try to attack the bishop on e3. Right. And if you take, let's say, on c5, knight takes c3, and that will allow you to recapture the pawn back with the bishop on c5. Uh, maybe at knight e5. I was just going to say, it's curious, why is knight going to c4 so early when we haven't even developed the kingside and castle yet? And there's the answer, why not to, white knight wants to grab the center, knight e5? I always thought this was premature, however. I thought that after knight takes e5, knight takes e5, a7, a6, the problem with the knight being on e5 is basically the d4 pawn. Like, I play a6, and I don't know if you're happy allowing the isolated queen pawn when I've got bishop b4 check. Queen a4 check, bishop d7, I'm happy. Go ahead, win the two bishops, but I don't think that that's serious. Uh, again, statistically speaking, Var, uh, break it down for our viewers. Uh, how are the players uh, doing once they, re they reach this position? Actually, a lot of... Uh, a lot of Moves, like a lot of games in this, uh, we, we transposed to like a French uh, Rubenstein right. position, and there was a game played by.
the pot break through uh, bar? Yeah, I think he's just gonna win the G2 pawn and then the other G2. He will win the G2 pawn and G3 pawn is just too far advanced. Yes, sir. Too fast. Just take this, take that. So again, he outplayed in a completely equal position. <laughs> it was a two rooks and a bishop when we left this. Just that's the best of it. It's too good in the endgame. Was played, guys. He could have just played a little rook f4, protecting h4, and then go king f2. Now he's winning again because he just picked up all the pawns and. Uh. Wait. Zero. Okay. And that's it? If you oh, resign, wow. you go rook h8, king g3, <laughs> rook g8 check, and rook g4, and mag. There was some swinging back and forth, toing and throwing. Do we have a game remaining? Anish Gary versus Bogdan? I nope. think. 